How's it going, people? Well, look what I found. I keep finding all this useful and helpful information. I mean, you need to know stuff about eternity, right? It's beyond the sunset. That's one thing you need to know. I guess. I find the most interesting stuff around my work. All right. I just gave it a glance. I haven't really read it. I wanted to... I only want to have to read this once. <laughs> there is an eternity. There really is. And you will spend it somewhere. The dictionary says eternity is without beginning or end. The Bible says the unsaved will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. And that was in Matthew 25, 46. And I'm sure a lot of other places. Where you spend eternity is extremely more important than where you are now. Yeah, fuck now. Think about eternity. That's the future. Forever is the future. Now, uh, uh, if it took a day to get to the place where you would spend the next 10 years, which would be more important? What you needed for the day trip or your needs for the next 10 year stay? I think they're both pretty important, don't you? I guess they beg to differ. Where do we concern ourselves with getting ahead in this world? When eternity is so much more important, you know, in Never Never Land, that never happens. The Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. And again, it's Matthew. It's 6.33. This guy loves Matthew, I guess. You can know where you will spend eternity. Jesus knew where he was going and said, I go away to him who sent me where I am. There you may be also. And that's John 16, 5 and 14, 3. Paul said that when our body house, that's hyphenated, body house, <laughs> is destroyed, we have a building from God. E uh, eternal is eternal in the heavens. And that's 2 Corinthians 5.1. The Bible tells us, These things have I written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And that's 1 John 5.13. So this is some pretty well documented stuff. You will spend eternity either in heaven or hell. Heaven is a wonderful place with gates of pearl, a street of gold, the crystal clear river of the water of life. Didn't Plato talk about a no, wait, that was a, the waters of forgetfulness, excuse me. Then you went on to your next life. Different, but the same. Uh, and the tree of life. They're so pretty. Uh, there will be no night there. Uh, 
will be no night there, for Jesus will be the light. And that's from Revelation 21, 22. By contrast, hell is described as a place of wailing, gnashing of teeth, and outer, outer darkness. Matthew 8, 12. Who will be there? Anyone not found written in the book of life. Probably another gold book. Uh, will be cast into the lake of fire. Sounds awful. Revelation 20, 15. The unbeliever will spend eternity in flaming fire. Scare me. Uh, Punished with everlasting destruction. Second uh, Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9. Whether you believe it or not, you will spend eternity in heaven or in hell. So you do have a choice. But only one. <clears throat> it's not multiple choice. Where you spend eternity depends on what you do with Christ today. I haven't even seen him today, but I've heard about him quite a bit. Just today. You will not go to heaven by living a good, clean life. Or by doing the best you can. So it says... God's word says you are hell, a hell-bound sinner without Jesus Christ. Oh, your good deeds only count if you suck up to Jesus. Romans 3.23 is where that came from. You can only be saved by the gift of his grace through faith. That's believing in shit without any evidence. Uh, Ephesians. Two eight, That's where that came from. Put aside every excuse and listen to God's word written by some guy. A bunch of guys. A whole bunch of guys. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And that came from Romans 10.9. If you trust him, he will save you. Don't jump without Jesus. To the child of God, death is not the end, but the beginning. See, you're not, none of this counts. It's after you're dead when everything starts happening. To spend eternity in heaven, you must repent and receive Christ by faith. I actually did that a long time ago. The Bible says, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe the Son shall, see, uh, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. And that's from John 3, 36. Turn away from self and turn to Christ. Stop being so selfish. Just as you rest by putting all your weight on a chair. God, how many times have I heard that goddamn chestnut? <clears throat> so, put... Uh, Put your future in the hands of Jesus, because you sit in a chair and you trust that it's not going to collapse under you, even though things like that happen. Every day, over 150,000 people die worldwide. Just that many, huh? thought there'd be more. That's over 100 people entering eternity every minute. Jeez. And that's a narrow gate. They're going to come out like toothpaste. 
<sighs> Where will you spend eternity? Trust Jesus today, and it will be in heaven. That's written by David G. Uh, Canine. And there's information. The Jesus people. I'll put that in the more information. Anyway, I thought that this needed to be shared. I don't know. Do you feel more enlightened now? Uh, I think I like the phony psychic one better. Uh, anyway. I got more. I'll share them. I got a whole bunch last week. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I sure did. And I plan to continue.